Welcome dear grade 12 students to this video which is about the writing of module 4b student book page 63 and workbook pages from 47 to 49. There are two objectives for today's video. The first one is that we are going to discuss the content of a given writing task and the second one is we are going to plan and write an advantages and disadvantages essay about tourism. In your um, student book page 63, exercise D, you will find this writing task or rubric. Please take your time to read it and think of answers to these three questions. And once you have finished, please follow. Okay. What is the topic of discussion in this writing task? Indeed, the writing task reads, In recent years, the tourism industry, so the topic of discussion is tourism. The tourism industry has seen significant growth as more and more people are traveling for leisure purposes. The second question is, what have you been requested to do? You are requested to write an essay in which you discuss the advantages and disadvantages of tourism and you have to justify and expand on your ideas. What style of writing should you use? Your style should be formal, objective and informative. Right. Let's review this tip before uh, trying to write uh, our essay. When writing an essay about advantages and disadvantages, you can use a variety of print and digital resources. By print resources, he means you are going to use uh, books and reference books, dictionaries, etc. And by digital resources, uh, he means the soft copies of books online. You are going to use these resources to find information on the topic. Then you can create a mind map to establish connections and organize the information. Connections between ideas. These ideas are advantages, where are the others are disadvantages, etc. Then write an introduction in which you paraphrase the information in the rubric or the writing task and then introduce the topic of discussion. This is very important. Then use one of the two outlines featured in this module. Okay, again, use one of the two outlines featured in this module, depending on how you wish to present your information. And I'm going to explain this point just here. Okay, write in a formal style use topic sentences and a variety of linking words and phrases to organize your essay in a clear and logical way. Expand on your ideas by explaining them clearly and supporting them with reasons or examples. Then write a short, balanced conclusion summarizing both sides of discussion. In other words, Organize the information on the topic, then write the introduction in which you paraphrase the rubric and introduce the topic. Choose one of these two outlines, either to write all the advantages in one paragraph, then all the disadvantages in another paragraph, or you can mix. You can write one advantage plus its disadvantage, and then in the next paragraph you write another advantage plus its disadvantage. Organize paragraphs clearly by using topic sentence and linking words. Expand on and support your ideas with reasons and examples and write a balanced conclusion at the end. Okay. In addition to the tip that we have just studied in the previous slide, here you are the necessary phrases you can use 
to introduce the advantages. Before writing one of the advantages, you can use one of these phrases. An important advantage of our topic is tourism, right? So, an important advantage of tourism is so and so. Or, one major advantage of tourism is so and so. In other words, you can use the benefit of tourism is so and so. Or, one benefit of tourism is so and so. To add another point, you can use another positive aspect of tourism is so and so. Or an argument in favor of tourism is so and so. And the opposite of these expressions are here. To introduce the disadvantages. An important disadvantage of tourism is so and so. One major disadvantage of tourism is so and so. The drawback of tourism is so and so. Another negative aspect of tourism is so and so. An argument against tourism is so and so. Now, let's open um, our workbook, page 47. The essay is about, right, it's about the advantages and disadvantages of tourism. And you've got this organizer what can we write right here what is the topic of the essay exactly it's about tourism what is the controversy what is problematic about this tourism the controversy is that tourism has got advantages or pros and disadvantages or cons right let's continue Dear student, these are two different layouts. You can choose any one of them. Uh, for myself, I have chosen the first one on the left, in which we write all the advantages in one paragraph, followed by the explanations and examples, and then the disadvantages followed by explanations and examples. And I let you try to do the other layout yourself. Okay, as for the advantages, remember that we just write head points, not complete sentences. Okay, um, tolerant and respectful, and we gain benefits. And in the explanation, I will write the details, um, simply dealing with different people. When I deal with different people, I become tolerant and, and respectful, etc. The income increases. Remember, these are just head points, and I write here in brief what I will write in details after that in the whole essay. As for the disadvantages, there is a problem of stereotyping, uh, which means that uh, when people go uh, on trips to the same places to do the same activities, this creates what is called stereotyping. And concerning the crisis in the economy, when the economy of uh, certain countries depends mainly on tourism, it becomes a weak economy, especially in case of uh, disasters striking on tourism. And in conclusion, I say that uh, tourism can promote tolerance, yet it can weaken economy. Okay, so I present both advantages and disadvantages uh, very simply. Okay. This is the writing task and this is the introduction. Okay, please pause, read it carefully and try to identify the components of this introduction, especially paraphrasing the rubric and introducing both sides of the topic. We have already discussed this writing task before. Okay, are you ready now? Okay, this is an introductory statement. Today, traveling is not only a dream, as it used to be for many people. And then the writer started the paraphrasing right here. And you can notice that he said, 
the tourism industry has seen significant growth. While in the introduction he said the tourism industry has grown. Again, has seen significant growth, has grown as more and more people are traveling, as more and more people can afford to travel for leisure. And then he started to introduce both sides of the topic to understand the impact that this is having. We need to examine both the advantages and the disadvantages of tourism. This is what you can simply do in writing the introduction. A general introductory statement, if you want to do so, and then paraphrase the rubric and introduce both sides of the topic. Okay, is it clear? Dear student, this is the advantages paragraph. Please pause, take your time to read it and try to identify its components right here. And once you finish, please continue. Okay, now are you ready? Let's go. On the one hand, this is a linking phrase used to introduce the advantages. Okay, how about the topic sentence containing the main idea? It's the following one. Tourism can be beneficial in many different ways. And this is the main idea. Right? How about the phrase used to give examples? The writer used for instance. You can use it and also you can use for example, right? People who are exposed to different cultures usually become more tolerant and respectful. If you still remember, I have already written these two adjectives in the layout, right? At the same time, here the writer is going to add one more benefit. This is why the sentence that follows is another topic sentence containing another main idea, right? The local people gain more income gaining more income and this is what I have written in the layout right and their economy thrives becomes better flourishes improves okay a linker used to add another point here you are the linker moreover when the natural beauty of the area is brought to attention or needs more care this is cause and the effect is that people make a greater effort to protect it. Okay, is it clear? Please do the same with the disadvantages uh, paragraph. Pause and take your time. Okay, now are you ready? Let's go. On the other hand, this is a linking phrase used to introduce the disadvantages. Tourism also has a number of drawbacks. This is an introductory statement. It is not a topic sentence still anymore because it doesn't have a main idea, right? One of these, which is often not taken seriously enough, he is still introducing the main disadvantage is that many package tours or tourist websites point people to the same places and activities. And what's the problem here? The problem is that pointing people to the same places and activities creates or creating stereotypes. This is what I have written in the layout, stereotyping creating stereotypes of the country and its people. In addition, this phrase is used to add a new point, right? And what is the new point here? If the local economy depends too much on tourism, it can get very weak. This is what I have written in the layout, the weak economy. It can get very weak when there is a natural disaster or an economic crisis. Lastly, this linker is used to do what? 
to introduce the last point. In places where there is a lot of tourism, most often the natural environment suffer. And this is the main idea, the suffering of the natural environment. This is its justification as there is more pollution, number one, and animal habitats. Habitats are the natural homes of animals. Animal habitats are threatened. Okay, let's continue. Finally, uh, this is the conclusion. The writer has used this phrase in conclusion to introduce the conclusion and then notes the rephrasing and summing up of the advantages right here. Although tourism can promote cultural appreciation or exploration of other cultures, build local economies and help protect the environment, on the other hand, or the summing up of the disadvantages, it can also promote certain stereotypes create weak economies and contribute to the destruction of ecosystems. Okay, a general and effective uh, sentence. This is why we must all think about the kind of tourists we want to be. Check your work. This is checklist. Okay, have you followed these instructions? Ask yourself whether you have read the rubric carefully and have you understood why are you writing the essay? Yeah, have you noted down the main advantages and disadvantages you want to discuss? As for the format, I can take here, I use the appropriate layout or organizer. I organized my text into paragraphs, including introduction and conclusion. I discussed all the advantages in one paragraph and all the disadvantages in another paragraph or I dealt with the essay using the other format I dealt with the advantages and their opposing disadvantages in the same paragraphs as for the content you take whether you have um, stated both advantages and disadvantages and supported each adequately I avoided using contractions, you avoided using um and its, which means that you are using formal writing, not informal one. I used uh, formal linking words and phrases to connect the points I discussed. I did not raise new arguments in the conclusion. As for the division, I corrected my grammar, spelling, and punctuation errors, and I made sure that my writing is neat and easy to read. Now it's time to test yourself. You have this assignment. Recently, online learning has significantly grown as more and more students choose to learn online. Write an essay in which you discuss the advantages and disadvantages of online learning. Justify and expand on your ideas. Okay, do your best. Thank you so much for watching this video.